Hey everyone, today I'm going to go over the three different types of two sort directories and what they're used for. So when you first set up ROM Vault, you'll notice that it automatically creates a directory called two sort. Um, this directory is basically used for um, anything that you want ROM Vault to scan and decide where it needs to go. So any random ROMs that you download, you know, whatever. Um, now this directory here is automatically flagged as what's called the primary to sort and the primary to sort does a couple of specific functions um, first of all the primary to sort is the location where any removals will go so if i were to remove a dat or if something changed in a dat and a rom no longer matches it's going to be um, removed to the primary to sort directory um, in the same contextual path uh, where it came from so in this case, TEN collection, let's take a game gear. And let's just see what happens with that. So let's just assume that I no longer want this dat, and let's just delete it entirely. Let's update our dats to make sure it's gone. Now you'll notice that I have 70 ROMs that I no longer need because I removed the dat. Let's do find fixes. Uh, this um, purple status here means I don't have a copy of them elsewhere, so ROM Vault's going to create a backup of them and move them to the primary to sort. So let's go ahead and fix ROMs. And notice it moved all of them into the primary to sort. And let's just double check. Yep, you can see here it moved them all into this directory here. Now, the primary to sort also serves another purpose. Um, it's also the download location for any um, Q files that are downloaded for um, TOSEC ISO and redump dats. And you can get those from Dat Vault. So let's just see what that looks like. So let's just go ahead and add a new dat for, um, let's say, Sega CD. Let's go ahead and show what's available. Let's go down to. Sega Mega CD and Sega CD. Let's go ahead and add it. Um, this time, let's go ahead and put it in our own directory. Put it in redump. Uh, let's make another one. Sega CD. All right, let's go ahead and add that. Close this. Okay, you can see my new dat was added, but you can also see that it also downloaded um, downloaded something into this queues folder. You can see this is the zip file of queues that are needed for the entire redump set. So you can manually download this from redump.org if um, you don't use Dat Vault, but Dat Vault just makes this a little easier. Okay, so. That's the primary two sort. Now the next type of two sort is the cache two sort. And you can just think of this as a temporary directory for processing um, solid seven zip files. So the problem with solid seven zip archives is that you need to decompress the entire archive if you even need just one file from it. Um, now you can see where this can be a problem if like, let's say you need that one file for a fix in, let's say, seven different other archives. Well, other programs like um, CLR Main Pro will essentially um, decompress that solid 7 zip, ar zip archive seven different times just for that one file. So ROM Vault does this a little bit differently in that it will extract the 7 zip file to this temp directory and keep it there until all of the fixes are complete. So let's see what that looks like. So let's go ahead and add a new to sort directory. And let's just put it in context here. Let's just call this temp. <coughs> okay. Now here, it's automatically added in read only mode. And when you do that, you can't set it as a primary or cache to sort because those both require writing. 
So what we can do is just uh, left click on it to turn it into um, read write mode. And then you can go ahead and set it as the cache to sort. Now you don't need to use a cache to sort if you don't have one defined. What ROM Vault will do is it'll actually use the primary as the cache instead. But defining a separate cache to sort is sometimes useful if you want to put this on, you know, maybe like a fast drive or, you know, a different location from where your, your primary is. So it just gives you some options of where you want temporary files to be processed. Okay, so let's just scan everything and make sure we're up to date. And it looks like we are. And let's just do find fixes. And we can see here, it looks like I have um, all the files to fix this three ninjas kickback um, game. And right now we can see this resides as a seven zip file um, sitting in my primary to sort. So let's watch and see what happens when I go ahead and try to fix this. So if I go to fix ROMs, you can see here, Romvault is decompressing this solid 7-zip archive into this cache folder in my cache to sort. And then when that's done, it's going to compress and move everything over to its proper location. So in this case here, this would be in my ROM root, redump, Sega CD, and you can see there's a temp file here being created as it's compressing. Almost done. And there you go. So it um, compressed this um, Three Ninjas game into a zip file instead of 7-zip because that was, you know, how I had my preferences set up. Um, I don't personally like 7-zip just because it's very slow. So I choose to use torrent zip for everything. Now you also notice that because I had an entire Q pack, um, it created a bunch of these empty, well, almost empty archives that basically just contain a Q file. In a future video, I'll show you how to prevent that from happening. Now, the last type of T-sort is what I like to call just a regular two-sort directory. And this doesn't really do anything special. It's not used for removals. It's not used for queue downloads or temporary you know, files or anything like that. It's really just a directory that sits outside of your dat root and you know, ROM root that is used for you know, temporary, or not temporary, but just additional files that you want ROM Vault to scan and process. So what I'd like to do is I like to set up my uh, my regular two sort directories as um, you know per use case. So I might have one for downloads. I might have one for you know archived items um, that that I set as like read only like this. But really, it can be whatever you want. So you can kind of mix and match you know how you want to set up your two sort directories. Just remember that the primary is always going to be used for removals and queue file downloads. The cache is always going to be used as a temporary folder for um, 7Z, um, solid 7Z processing. And if you don't have a cache defined, then the primary will be used instead. And that's about it for two sort directories. Um, you know, set it up the way that works best for you and have fun.